Hey guys, this is Axel 70 and I'm here recording a uh, Hopper tutorial on how to use the Hopper, which was just implemented in the latest update. Anyways, as you can see, I have the crafting recipe in front of me. Like, if this was a crafting table, that's how you'd craft it. And once you have created the Hopper, which you can see right there, uh, you can make the Hopper minecart. And I'm going to quickly show you how all this stuff works. And uh, as you can see here, to make materials go that way, you have to place the, uh, what call it? You have to face the direction, you have to like place it on the block side that you want the uh, stuff to go to. So for example, that's going to go into that block. So it takes materials from the top and transfers it in whatever that little bottom piece is pointing. As you can see, that one goes that direction, and that one goes that direction. And sorry about that beep in the background. Hopefully that doesn't beep twice, that's just the oven. Anyways, uh, to make it go down, you have to place it on the top of a block, like so. And uh, here, I'll just show you all the different directions it can go. Well, actually, it can only go like five directions that way, that way, so that goes that way, that one goes that way, that one goes that way, and that one goes that way, and that one goes down. Anyways, that's how you place the uh, things. So, for example, this is how you could set it up. You could have a chest there. So, it would suck the stuff out of that chest and put it into that. And if you place chest anywhere around it, it will not go into them. It will only go the direction it is pointing. And also, oops, that, um, you'll think, oh, it will go down into it. No, it won't go into that chest if you place stuff in. So, oh, crap, nope, that is not Q. It did not go in, and it went in here. Grab that. Anyways, so as you can see, that'll go there. And yeah, you, you got the idea for that, and then that will go down in here. See, cool stuff. Anyways, so there is something else I'd like to show you with the minecart hopper, or actually the hoppers with minecart chest so you can place rail over top of it but you can't place rail like directly on top of it I'll sh like you can't place it like that you have to have two pieces of rail and you can look at the edge like that and boom you place it over top anyways it can suck stuff out of minecart chests or minecart minecart hoppers that are on top of it and then it can transfer it into nearby things there we go makes sense right okay Cool. Anyways, so just put that back. Uh, as you can see here, you can. Oh, sorry. Also forgot to show you something. With the minecart chest or minecart hopper, you can transfer things into it from the side. So let's say you have a hopper on the side of the track, pointing towards the track like so, and that almost confused the crap out of me because that transfers into there, which gets sucked out from that hopper and put in here. And you'll probably think it'll just go down into it, but like I showed before, it will not. So let's. Is it. Oh, I'm missing. Will not go into the chest below it. It'll just stay inside the item hopper. Cool. Anyways, so over here, I, I lined them all up, and this does work because they just go through. And as you can see, I sent three. And if I come down here, oh look, three, sweet. Anyways, uh, another thing you can do is hopper or the hopper minecarts will suck your items above them. And yep, yeah, there we go. See, uh, but they will not suck out items from like just beside it. So you can place all the stuff you want in there, but an adjacent minecart hopper thing will not suck it out. Anyways, coming over here, you can also stop. Uh, the stuff having a redstone current, so current is not going through at all, and then with no current, it will go through. And if you have a double hopper set up like so, you have to stop both currents individually, just one current won't stop them both. Each has to have its separate current, and already has two in there, that has two, that has two, so 
uh, everything else too except for the chest at the bottom. So let's say the current to this one has nothing, it'll take the two from the one above it and it'll put it in the bottom. And then uh, if that one had current but this one didn't, that takes that two and puts it in there. Anyways, the gist of it is both need currents for a hopper to hopper thing to uh, stop. Anyways, this is uh, an example. Oh, hold on. Let's just make it daytime. Uh, this is how the hoppers like split it up. So if there's a hopper with a a thing beside it, but there's another hopper beneath it, like so. Um, hold on. Put three in there. And I believe two should be in there and one should be in there. Oh, okay, that's really confusing. I'm not sure if I set this up correctly, but uh, hold on. One, two, one. Whoa, whoa. Okay, the thing was like the uh, wiki was said something about it being able to divide. Up between two. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. I don't really get this part. Um, if you want to like learn more about like how, uh, like two hoppers will like divide uh the thing between two different ways. Um, oh yeah, I see it work there. So if you put three in here, um, or four, it'll should divide it between. Yeah. Okay. See. For some reason it just didn't want to work when I had this chest up here. So put four in there, and for some reason I'll go there. Anyways, there we go. Now this works. Um, another thing is, oh, if you didn't really understand what was going over here, I was just saying how it divided it up. Anyways, next thing is the comparator thing uh, on hoppers, how they work on that. Basically, if um, things that don't stack, by the way, count as one whole uh, stack. So for a comparator, that equals th uh, three things. So as you can see, one, two, three. And it doesn't go any further than that. Uh, anyway, so for each of these stacks that you fill up, um, it'll make three currents. So one third of a stack equals one current. Not too sure. You make a third of a stack. Yeah, I guess that's like a third. So that should go four. Yep, there we go. So if you have this whole thing filled, it will go 15 blocks. And I'm just going to go over that again. One uh, filled area, so that equals a current of three. Uh, then a third of a stack is one like current thing, one power of current, or things that are unstackable equal the stack is 64. Anyways, that's pretty much everything there is on hoppers. Um, there's just one last thing, here, as I pause this here, which is how fast uh, it transfers items. Uh, and it transfers items from its inventory to the inventory of an attached block at a rate of 2.5 items per second, or 8 game ticks or 4 redstone ticks, or 0 0.4 0 .4 seconds per item. So 8 game ticks is like 2 redstone repeaters. Uh, yeah. Or sorry, 4 re redstone ticks is uh, for 1 block. So to move 64 blocks, you have to have 64 repeaters. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much everything there is to learn about hoppers, and it's really laggy now, so hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, my t tutorial about redstone, or not redstone hoppers, item hoppers, and uh, there's, for more information about it, uh, there'll, there'll be a link to the wiki, the hopper wiki, in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.